Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today we have a chore, we have a task, we have a request yep. of you. Yep. So Macy had her calf, and it is a heifer calf, so, and That yes. means girl. That means a girl, sorry. She is absolutely adorable. I think Jersey cows and calves are... They're just cute. They are adorable. They, they're the... Okay, personal opinion. I think they're the most, the prettiest cow ever. Prettiest cow. The prettiest cow wow, ever. Wow, that's big pretty. eyes, just beautiful color. Um, yes, their temperament can be. Um, we will make sure that they will be nice. Yes, they they can be pushy when it comes to food. Um, however, they're just such a beautiful cow. I love it. I love them. So, so. our request, yes. our challenge, yes. is we need a name for this cow. Yes, calf. Calf. Half a calf. Is there? Why? It's still a okay. cow. Yes, it is a cow. However, there's different delineations. I know. And it, and and I get tripped up too because they're still all cows. A cow. I know it's still a cow. But this it is a calf. heifer calf because it's never had babies before. Okay. And then there's the bull, and that one is still intact with its parts. A steer is a male that is not intact anymore with its parts. And then the cow is the, the cow that is in milk that has had calves. It's still a cow. Just, I just have to be clear. Because <laughs> it's in my mind, really. I have okay. to keep them straight in my mind because there's so many different names. It's a cow. It's like with chickens. You've got cockerels and hens and pullets and... Uh, I know. <laughs> so, so we chicken have to... first? The we chicken have, or the egg? We have to name the cow. <laughs> the calf. The heifer. The heifer. Cow. Get it straight. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, we need a name for that heifer calf. Thank you. And we think we've got one, and I don't want to spoil it. We think we've got a good name for it. However, we've got a challenge. And if you can type down a name that is better than our name, in our opinion, of course, mm -hmm. and we pick your name, we're going to give you one of our cookbooks for free. Okay, but if you don't and you do pick that name that we have picked... No cookbook. No, they, then they'll get a cookbook. No cookbook. Yes, they'll get a cookbook. No cookbook. Yes. But they're just going to start naming all kinds of crazy names. So? Then we might have some fantastic name for her. I, I say no. I, Princess Jasmine? No, I don't know. No, not really. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> no, so put your name suggestion yeah. down below, and we'll figure out who gets a cookbook. Right. I have a feeling I'm going to have to Indian leg wrestle her over this topic, this this dilemma. And and don't forget, I, I made a mistake in the, in the video yesterday with the garlic rolls. I forgot to give you the coupon code. So if you order a cookbook, don't forget to use the coupon Wait a minute. code. If you want to order a cookbook <laughs> right. this month, they're on sale. Right, they're on sale. And I forgot to give you the coupon code. And Which is, is? MOM in all caps. I wonder why. What happens this Sunday? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Hello, young lady. What are you up to? I want cantaloupe. You want cantaloupe? Yes. I'm filming you because we said don't cut the cantaloupe because the kitchen is messy. However, you wanted the cantaloupe so bad, what did you do? I cleaned it. I cleaned the kitchen. That is one dedicated cantaloupe loving chickie. Nana, she is so concerned about that cantaloupe over there, she cannot focus on anything. This dog is the most obsessed with food out of any dog we have ever had. Would you say that's fair? Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. She can't, you, I mean, you can tell her, go, we're going outside. I have, I have these in my hand and she's paying attention. She's just right? drooling. You're ridiculous. Yeah. You're not getting any, hey, Nana. <laughs> she's like, don't talk to me, daddy. Please don't talk to me right now. I'm focused on that cantaloupe thing over there. Daddy, she came at me. Dog. <laughs> Those red things are gonna get me. <laughs> Nana. What a funny, funny dog. She's out. All right, folks. So, yes, Macy had her calf. Mm -hmm. Super happy about it, too. Cute little cow. Yeah, now it's 
Well, it's a heifer, so now it's, okay, what do we do with her? Decision-making time. Right. And, well, explain why, because, well, it'd be easy if it was a boy. It would be easy. The decision would have been made. We would have castrated it and made it into, uh, grew, it, grew it, or raised it, mm -hmm. um, and it would have gone to freezer camp. However, Meat. right, however, this is a heifer which we could raise, and she could be a milk cow. Um, Part of the issue is that they sell for a lot more money. They do sell, heifers do sell for a lot more money. Uh, we paid 300 for our heifer Dottie when she mm -hmm. was uh, just a couple weeks old. And she was a bottle calf. Well. What does that mean for people who don't know? A bottle calf is a very young calf who still needs milk. So hence you give them milk through a bottle um, and it's not on the mama. They, mm -hmm. the, a lot of dairy farms will let the um, calf stay with the mama till the mama has licked the calf clean um, and then they take the calf away and they feed it colostrum that they milked off. Which that kind of doesn't make sense to me. Why not just leave it with the cow? Well, because they're going to make a milk, they're going to give it milk replacer. Well, actually, they feed it colostrum for the first 24 hours. Well, yeah, but it, right. it must be a, a, a money thing. It must be a financial yes. reason why they do that. Mm -hmm. So now another reason why we're in a quandary as to what to do about this little heifer is because we already have two milk cows. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we sold her, we could make a little bit of money. But if we waited and got her to like six months of age, mm -hmm. then they're worth a lot more money. Yep. But do we want to have a third milk cow? Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, with um, our family situation, you know, Grace uses the milk. Well, we all use the milk, but mm -hmm. she needs it most out of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but do we really need three well, see, the prepper side of me says two is one and one is nine. True. But three would be a lot better if you couldn't get one. True. And However. We can, and we can share. We can share that if there is, a, if there is an issue. Well, so. and, and the other thing is this, is that right now we will be using all the milk that Macy is giving with the consideration that mm -hmm. the cow gets the calf gets what the calf needs, and right. then and then after that, we have to milk her out, or else she'll be uncomfortable and painful, and right. possibility of mastitis and all that. Right. But how much is she given now? Because she's given a ton. Um, I milked this morning, and she gave us two and a half gallons in one milking. And that was after the calf had taken what the calf needed. Well, and the calf is with her all day long. So I'm not taking everything. I'm taking, you know, she still had milk in her. I didn't milk her completely out. Wow. Yeah, so she was giving, she gives quite a bit, so. Time to start making cheese. Take time yogurt. to making some butter. butter yeah. Yogurt. We haven't had that stuff for, what, three months now? Uh, no, just, uh, just about two months. Seems like a long time. Yeah. yeah. Fresh milk, cold, fresh milk. There's some in the fridge. Oh, I got to make I'm some ice milk cream. With, having milk with dinner. Yes. yes. So for us, I, if I had to make a decision right now, we don't have to make a decision right now. No, we really don't. But if, if I did, I'd say we should keep her mm -hmm. and make the decision six months from now. Right. I think we should, you know, because she's not costing us anything. Um, she will mm -hmm. be on grass in the next month. And so, there should be grass growing in the next month. There's already grass growing. It's just a little too cold to let her out. Um, and we need to move some animals out to another pasture so that she's safe. And um, But, yeah, I mean, it's, it, yeah. But life has changed, too, now because we got a little bit of a break, but now it's the chores are different. Chores are slightly different. Uh, milking, we got to stick to our routine and, mm -hmm. and get her milked out and then get all of the tools and utensils clean and, you know, dried properly. So, yeah. And, I, and I, I'm going to ask you this because we haven't talked about it. Yeah. Um, but I kind of feel like Macy's attitude has changed. I think she's chilled out some. I think she did chill out a little bit towards the end of her pregnancy. Um, she was a lot nicer and a lot sweeter. And you were concerned about her not going in her stanchion. Right after away. The two, after the month and a half of her. Not she went going in. in. Not, of not going in. She went in right away. Yeah. I didn't have to drag her around. I didn't have to say, come on, let's go. She went. She knew exactly where she needed to go. Well, I feel like she's so. a lot more obedient now in that when you call her for whatever reason, she does come. Yep, yeah, because she knows I have food. Well, <laughs> there's that. Yeah. 
So anyway. I, she's standing right behind me because she she needs some more hay. So she I wants have to some, put more hay. some more hay over there. We'll give you some treats here in a little bit, sister. So, but that's the end of the video for today. Hope you like it. Hope you don't mind subscribing and clicking the bell thing so that you get the notifications. And share it with all your friends. It, it truly helps us out. It does. So I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. And you guys have an amazing and blessed day.